Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be taking you through groups. Groups are your area that actually hold your account details, so your actual connection details for Ping FM, Posterius and Hello Text. Very simple to create a group, very straightforward, and you can create as many groups as you like. Um, I'm going to navigate over to the my um, Manage Groups tab, and towards the bottom I'm going to click on Add Group. I'm going to create a regular group. Again, the feed groups and the feed projects will be taken uh, I will be taking you through on a different video, um, but for this demonstration only, it's going to be a regular project and a regular group. Okay, so the group name, I'm going to call it Group A. You can call this anything you like, a good idea to keep organized, um, but it's very easy to actually see what's within that group as well, which I'll be showing you now. So I'm going to click on Save. As soon as I click on Save, I can see the Group A has been created towards the top left-hand side. I can actually click on that group. As soon as I click on that group, I'm going to get some more options towards the right-hand pane. Now, if you don't see these options here, guys, not to worry, just ensure that you are on the correct tab, um, which is the Group Projects Project Details tab towards the top, and you've also checked on and clicked on the groups, um, the actual group that you're looking to view. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add accounts to this group, so I'll click on the Add Accounts box um, button, and we have three options, either Hello Text, Posterious, or Ping FM. Now, there's a little note towards the bottom making you aware that Posterious and Ping FM both require your email address um, and Hello Text will accept your email address or your username. So, with all honesty, if you just enter your email address for all three of these and then your password, you're going to be totally fine. Bearing in mind that we do need a Ping FM, Hello Text, and Posterious account that needs to be set up from the start before linking them into here. Um, so, you need your social media accounts link to your Ping FM Posterous and Hello Text account before the software is going to be able to really work the magic for you. Okay, so you just enter your details in here. I'll add something dummy in here at the moment just to give you an understanding and explanation of how this looks and how this works. So there we go with one Hello Text account. We'll add one Posterious account as well. And we'll also add one Ping FM account. Okay, so we've got three connections in here. We've got one of each, and the group doesn't actually allow you more than one of each. So if I try and add another account in here now, and enter that there, as you can see, it says that you can have no more than one Hello Text account in any one group. Now, the reason we've actually done this, guys, is there's a very good reason behind this as well. I'm going to be talking you through these reasons now. But before I talk you through these reasons, I'm going to show you that you can actually create as many groups as you like, and you can add Hello Text, Ping FM, and Posterious accounts to any one of them groups as well. Uh, well, sorry, uh, to as many groups as you like. Okay, so Group B. And if I click on Group B, guys, as you can see, there's nothing in here at the moment. I can click on Add Accounts. I can add an account in here. And as you can see, we've got the Hello Text account in here. And it's very easy and straightforward to see exactly what you've got in your groups and what's connected to your groups by just clicking on the groups. And as you can see, I'm, I'm onto Group A. I can see three accounts in here. I go over to Group B. I can see one account in here. If I had more groups, I can actually just check on the groups and find out exactly what accounts and how many accounts I've got to actually play around with. Now then, um, the very cool thing about groups and the reason we've actually... Um, coded this in a certain way uh, or in this certain way to work with groups is just in case users want to keep IP IPs consistent when they're logging in and out of accounts um, and just in case users have a number of um, groups down here so they're working with 15 20 hello text accounts 15 20 ping fm accounts um, and they want to make sure that their IPs aren't going to get tracked um, or they're not going to get linked to other accounts so they don't so they don't get closed as well so what you can do you can actually assign proxies to your groups now bearing in mind your group is only going to have three accounts at the max so it's going to have one of each account so that IP that you assign to this group will be used for all three of these accounts now you can now you can import a number of IPs my honest advice to you would be to work with one IP, one paid for IP, sorry, one proxy, one paid for proxy, private proxy, um, elite anonymous proxy as well. Um, but saying this, the current sites that we have in here, so these current hubs, um, I've managed to work with 10 of each from the same IP. So test away, see how you get on. Obviously, when you're going to be creating the accounts, that's when you're going to need proper proxies. But when you're posting to these sites, especially these hubs, I found that 10 of each without any proxies 
hasn't caused an issue whatsoever but if you do want to work with proxies guys all you have to do um, we have full details in the user guide um, just click on this import proxy button I'll go to my proxy list here now I've got a large list of proxies down here guys and then obviously you can check whichever ones you want with all honesty again you'll be working with one private proxy only guys you wouldn't really need so many of these proxies in there because if you're having loads of proxies imported into a group then with all with all honesty you're really not keeping that consistency with the IPs or the proxies so anyway I'm gonna show you that these are assigned to the group only so these are in group A if I go to group B and I click on show proxy configure proxy as you can see we've got no proxies in here whatsoever what this means is that when the system's gonna go and post to group B it's gonna use our default IP now group A on the other hand if I click on show proxy configure proxy then these do have the proxies in here so when the system's going to be going to log on to any of the connections assigned to group A then it's going to be using one of these proxies here I'm going to remove these proxies anyway okay so this is exactly how straightforward and how simple it is now when you want to go and post guys all you have to do is go to manage projects choose the projects that you want to post so whichever ones you want to post you can you can choose 10 15 projects and the system will randomly choose one of these projects for you before it's going to go away and make a post um, so you just check the projects that you want you check the groups that you want to post to you go over to feed post details sorry you go over to regular post details you choose the number of posts that you want to make now a num now what this means like so for example if i got four in here what that means is every time i make a post to either ping fm posterius or hello text then that's counted as one post so if I want to make seven posts so say, okay say for example I've got three connections in here and I've got one connection in here now if I want to make one post to each one of these I can just tell the system here that I want to make four posts and what that will do is make a post to each one of them connections now if I had loads now the real tricky thing or the real cool part of the software is when you're working with loads and loads of groups because when you're working with loads and loads of groups you can actually randomize your accounts as well and the system also works on a time stamped basis now what that means is say for example you set up a project and you told the system to make two posts only and then you set up another project and you told the system to post or this time to make three posts but you had like loads and loads of groups inside of the system now if you have now the way we've coded the system to do this is that because it's already made the two posts to two connections we actually keep a timestamp of when we actually post to that connection to make sure that we can split out and use all of your other connections and post to the ones that have been used the least so um so we've got some great logic behind it to protect your accounts guys and every time we make a post um it's gonna the, the system will randomly choose a project and then it will go and post to either hello text it will randomly choose a project again and then it will go and show then it will go and post to ping fm randomly choose a project go and post to posterius again guys you can also have a randomized accounts if you have randomized accounts on what that means is that when you're no, with how many other groups you have noted down here it might take a posterius from group a it might take a hello text from group b and it might take a ping fm from group c but again it works with a timestamp so it's real cool and really does have some randomization in here for you making all your social media sites look very natural as well based on very different um, subjects as well now the whole idea about using this guys okay all you have to do is click start after you've done that um after you set it up now the whole idea about using this guys is to really benefit from the start on Windows startup that we have in here and also to click this button here X and as you can see we've got a, we've got a message down here now saying if you want to exit the program then you don't exit the program by clicking on this X button here because this X button by clicking on this is going to minimize the system tray if you do want to close it then please use the exit button here now the idea about using this guys is to have a nice number of posts um, noted in here have a nice long delay like say every 15 minutes um, have this have loads of projects in here have loads of groups in here promote whatever you like and really have the system work for you in the background so have it minimized let it work for you without you even knowing that it's working um, and that's the real way to use this guys and really make it set it really make this set and forget um, just enter loads of projects use your spin syntax um, and start promoting your sites. I hope this gives you a much better understanding of exactly how to work with a social hub submitter. Thank you very much.